Hello, today is January 26, 2013. I am speaking on behalf of Mr. Richard Jess Brown, Jr., former music student of Mr. Mickey Davis. A few words as a tribute to a great musician and wonderful teacher that we lost, as the very sad news was given to him at a rehearsal last night from Mr. Hudson, of the Mississippi Symphony Orchestra. Although I am only a character on your screen, I want you to imagine that I am Richard, as words are being said about this great man, great musician, and his dedication and desire to helping others develop, Mr. Mickey Davis. Many of the younger musicians know of this man, Mickey Davis. However, they may not know his true legacy, at least as far as I am concerned. Let me tell you just a little about this excellent teacher, outstanding musician and beautiful person. He was a studio musician, studio instrumental arranger, classical violist, contemporary violinist, acoustic bassist, electric bass guitarist, master of reading music on various instruments, a motivating, caring teacher etc. Do you understand? Mickey Davis came to my elementary school and gave students a music talent test. We were in the sixth grade. Subsequently, I started studying string bass with Mr. Mickey Davis in the seventh grade, being 12 years old at that time. His motivational skills were such that the things learned and benefits received from Mr. Mickey Davis have enabled me to tour Europe at the age of 14, with the National Youth Orchestra that originated out of Princeton, New Jersey, become a full-time member of the Memphis Symphony at the age of 19, receive a Master's of Music degree in classical music from DePaul University and tour many parts of the world performing on many jazz festivals, perform with many legends in music, record in studio recording sessions and we could go on and on. My first bass lessons were with Mr. Mickey Davis at Bellhaven College as a child. Ironically, I am now the adjunct bass professor, classical and jazz, at what is now Bellhaven University, while also teaching in the public schools of Jackson and Free, lancing with many different ensembles and performing as acoustic and electric bassist on many performances with the Mississippi Symphony Orchestra. Do you understand? Mickey Davis was a big influence on my life. He followed guided and stayed in touch with my parents, all the way through college to ensure success, was a teacher. He also worked with my mother, teaching strings, at the school, in which she was the principal, at the time. He would lead in many ways by example. Mickey Davis was music, itself, he could do anything, play any kind of music. As a child, I began to develop my musical concept from his example, as to how he related to music. I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to study with him. He played principal viola with the Mississippi Symphony Orchestra for many years. However, that is not all. He played beautiful violin, jazz and bluegrass, winning a national fiddling contest in Washington, D.C. Mickey Davis also played acoustic bass and electric bass. I have seen him play all of these instruments with many legendary musicians. He performed on many records and wrote string arrangements on most of the Grammy Award-winning material that came out of Malico Recording Studio. You can do it all, he would say. I remember asking him, as a child, is the electric bass different from acoustic bass? He said, no, it's the same four strings, try it. Do you understand? The seed was planted at that moment conceptually, again, what a teacher. I know for a fact that there are many musicians that share similar ideas with respect to the professionality, beautiful personality and outstanding talent of my former teacher Mr. Mickey Davis. He will always live in my heart and serve as a fabulous example. My prayers go out to Mrs. Davis and the entire family. Please accept this message as a special tribute to your husband and thank you. You are always very kind to me growing up as a child. That I will never forget. May God bless you, always, former bass and music student, Richard Jess Brown, Jr., thank you for allowing me to share.